Bracing for budget cuts. That's what's expected to be on the way for the Boston Public School District. Well, a vote is happening tonight. It could decide what the future of the district will look like. Let's bring in NBC 10's Alicia Palumbo live in Boston. Alicia, a lot of parents with students in the district are waiting anxiously for this. Yeah, and rightfully so, LaToya. I mean, we've seen it in several districts over the past few months. They're trying to deal with this, deal with cuts to services, deal with needing to reduce the number of teachers in classrooms. And Boston, that is going to happen as well. This is part of the proposed budget. Like here at the Edison K-8 through school, they could lose 18 percent of their staff. That's a real concern for parents. So what is BPS looking at? It's about a $1.5 billion budget for fiscal year 2025, but it includes a loss of millions of dollars in ESSER funds and hold harmless funding, which are those post-pandemic federal st stimulus dollars that helped schools make ends meet in previous budgets. Now, essentially 70 percent of schools would lose staffing under this proposed budget, including cuts to music and the arts. So what's leading to these cuts? So there are several reasons, including declining enrollment. BPS has lost about 8,000 students over the past decade, increased busing and facilities costs, and skyrocketing student needs, like for special education and English language learners. Now, the school committee is scheduled to vote on this proposed $1.5 billion budget in their meeting tonight, which is set to start at 5 p.m. We're live in Brighton. Alicia Palumbo, NBC 10 Boston.